Hello guys, welcome back to Gaming Tidbits, and this time around, we're going to talk about the PC Engine. Have you ever wanted to play like your PC Engine in 720p? Well, there is an HDMI ready 720p video adapter called Upper Graphics that you can now order, and it is a hefty price, but the point of this is simply, before I get to the price tag of this, is this is basically, uh, though there is choices out there, like the RX RGB upscalers, uh, you know, for retro games and modern display, but they're not like the easiest to acquire these days. But the new upper graphics will bring again high definition gaming uh, from your system. Since what it does is it uses the expansion port on the back of the PC engine, the core graphics, the or the core graphics two, uh, which basically. Uh, adapter features a DVI connector alongside an audio jack for basically crystal clear audio visuals. Uh, the device also doubles up as a backup RAM adapter. So for games that utilize the save feature, these save features can be backed up to the computer for safekeeping. Although you, again, you have to use a, a USB cable with accompanying software. Uh, again, this is a cool thing if you want, if you love your PC engine or your core graphics and you want to play it on your modern TV this is a cool thing now there is another cool option is that some people are wondering you know are there any way to ad out adjust the video output of the upper graphics and there actually is what you do is you basically power it up without a game inserted and then a service menu will pop up and you'll be able to adjust the aspect ratio the v-sync fre frequency and the name table cropping so those are all available we're just not putting a, a disc in now articles I read came out a couple days early before August 19th when they actually announced more or less the price and the price for this thing is going to be pretty steep again this is coming overseas uh, about three hundred forty six dollars more or less it might be more than that might be less but I courtesy but it is a hefty price if you're going to get this thing but if the PC Engine and the Core Graphics are the only retro system you play or you have money to burn and you're looking for something to add to this collection of systems this may very well be the thing for you to play this on your modern TV and again the modern TV is the biggest advantage now the way obviously the way things are going in the retro markets today with so many different things being made by fans and done by fans Maybe not so long down the road somebody else will make this but at a much cheaper price Who knows but for now for those who love it for those who want something uh, That definitely will be something to talk about if any if you fellow collectors are into this this system and they see something like that, but again As you can see from the video playing you, you're seeing how the prototype actually works and what it looks like uh, in 720p But it is a, it is really cool this day and age, when you talk retro gaming, the cool innovative things people come up with to make their systems do things they were never meant to do, or play on TVs that were never, you know, visualized actually happening. Like, who would ever think there'd be systems made today that allow you to play your NES games or your PC Engine games on a modern television? And that's really cool. Again, it's just if you're willing to pay the price. Again, a lot some of these things are really expensive because let's be honest. Right now, some of these things are very niche market. Like, the, well, the PC Engine did incredibly well over Japan and had a long lifespan. The TurboGrafx-16 did not do have such a long, long lifespan over here. And so anybody who owns one here would probably be a niche base to gamers who you, you divide that based on how many people would actually buy something like this and it gets smaller and smaller. I think things like this are cool. And it's cool that this is not an all-one device with multiple systems. Because there are a lot of people out there who are just a fan of one system. And so, I think this is cool. Would I buy it? Well, I wouldn't buy it because I currently don't have a PC Engine or Core Graphics or Graphics 2. But I definitely understand for people who love this system and maybe they own all the games and... and like, you know, they have money to burn it, or they have money, and they're like, man, I want something new. This would be something new to play those games again. And eventually, I think we will see the homebrew scene spread to all systems, because there are people who love all of them. But for now, certain systems get more love than the others. So, 
What do you guys think about the upper graphics? Would it be something up your alley, something you'd be interested in? Or is the price just too steep for you? What do you think about it? Again, when you talk about this kind of system, when you talk about retro consoles with all the different, like, you know, consoles that have multiple systems, this is one of the systems that's kind of left out of the love. Anyway, love to hear guys' opinions like always. I will make another video soon. Later, guys. Thanks for watching.